Ernest L. Martin was a meteorologist, minister in the Worldwide Church of God, and author on biblical topics. He is best known for his controversial works on the Star of Bethlehem and the location of the temple in Jerusalem. Martin proposed a recalculation of the birth of Jesus in his books, The Birth of Christ Recalculated, 1978, and The Star That Astonished the World in 1996. It just so happens I was able to purchase a copy of The Star That Astonished the World by Ernest L. Martin off of eBay. And in the inside cover, you can clearly see the copy that I'm holding was originally published in 1998. The book contains many topics, including who were the wise men, was the star a real star, the real star of Bethlehem, and the time of Jesus' birth. Well, I recommend everyone look up this book online, because it is available digitally, and read the entire chapter titled The Time of Jesus' Birth. I would like to read the final paragraph from the chapter here. Dr. Martin writes, Whatever the case, the historical evidence supports the nativity of Jesus in 3 BC at the beginning of a Roman census, and if we use the astronomical indications of the book of Revelation, his birth would have occurred just after sundown on September 11th on Rosh Hashanah, the Day of Trumpets, the Jewish New Year Day for governmental affairs. There could hardly have been a better day in the ecclesiastical calendar of the Jews to introduce the Messiah to the world from a Jewish point of view, and this is no doubt what the Apostle John was clearly intending to show by the sign that he recorded in Revelation chapter 12. 